Yo, I'm about to punch her in the face. I'm gonna punch her in the face. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone on a, on a, wait, wait. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone on a non-binary spectrum, my name is Hixley, and welcome back to episode, more specifically, welcome back to Soccer Moms. Now, in the last episode, we got to introduce to our main moms, and we got to introduce to the second hair embarrassment, we see how they initiate new moms, we see just how serious being a soccer mom and being rival soccer mom is to these moms. And so much so that they fight at barbecues, but their children and husbands are just like, um, it's not that big of a deal. They take it more seriously than their kids do. <laughs> Woo! Chapter 2. The story is it sounds. So turn your volume up. Bitches. <gasps> you! Me. I knew one day you were going to come to kill me. Yes, but not today. I some someone turning is someone turning a new page. Nice outfit. I take it back. Could we stop with the bickering for two seconds? We have a crisis on our hands. Well, your problem isn't my problem. So bye bye. Even if it involves your daughter. What have you done with my daughter? Nothing. It's what your daughter has done to my son. I thought I'd never see the day. She didn't hurt him. She made my son swoon. That's what you came over to my house for? What? Oh my god. And tonight is their date. No, no, please do not tell me we're about to go ruin, mess this up for them. No, I will not have my daughter date your son. We have to stop them. For once, I agree with you. Oh my god, no. Do I get a chance to opt out of this? Do you know when they're going? In about a half hour and a half. That we could still stop my daughter. To her room. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Ma. Mrs. Mitchell's. I'm as shocked as you. What are you two doing here? Seriously. Well, we heard about your date and we decided to help out. Since I do know my son the best. Yep, what she said. Oh my god. So you two are working together? Yeah. Pretty much. I'm trying to make it sound as suspicious as possible. Because <laughs> I feel like that's how it would actually be acted out. Now I've seen everything. Why can't you two stand to even breathe the same air? Oh wait, why? You two can't stand- stand- What? Reading. Brain, come on. Why? You two can't stand to even breathe the same air. While that may be true, we decided to try to get along for our kids. I mean, you could potential, you could be my potential daughter-in-law. <laughs> I hated it saying as much as you hated hearing it. I think I'm going to vomit. So Spill, where is he taking you? I don't know. He said it was a surprise. Interesting. How does he think you're supposed to get ready then? He did tell me to wear something that was a bit fancy yet casual at the same time. So he gave us a challenge. 
kind of like the challenge he was growing up. I see where he gets it from then. Okay then. Show us what's in that closet of yours. And please, nothing red. I don't remember seeing your son not liking red. Well, he doesn't like it anymore. Since when? Since now! God, this is about to be embarrassing. Some things never change. I actually had an outfit in mind. Well, show us! Daughter-in-law? Seriously? It didn't feel good to say it. Trust me. Hearing it made me want to puke. The feeling is mutual. Aw, that's so pretty! So, I thought about wearing this. It's a nice casual summer dress. And totally restaurant worthy. So... You look absolutely stunned! What she means is... That is... That is just won't do. That it just won't do. Really? She, she's right! Janelope! Can't believe I just said that. It just won't do. How about we pick a few outfits out? Uh, sure. Oh my god. Can I opt out of this? I don't want to ruin- No! Great. Dear god. Show us the first outfit. And look ridiculous. Nonsense! Sailor dresses are so in right now. That doesn't explain my crown. We thought you could show off your childish side. I was like six when I last wore this. And you still look as cute as ever. Wait, aren't you like eight? Mom, I'm 16. Jesus Christ, Janelope. What? They grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> Too fast. Next outfit. What the heck is that? She go into a ritual of her own. What on earth am I supposed to be? You're mysterious. Men totally dickhead. Well, remind me to never ask you, you never ask you what what you wore on your first date. I have no words. <laughs> I'm also speechless. No, as in, I have no words towards your sense of fashion. It's a gorgeous blue dress matched with a stylish coat. This dress is a surgeon's apron. Not to mention that you topped it off with a hat. It shows that you can take care of your health and not get a cold. It's 90 degrees outside. Better safe than sorry. If anything, she'll be more unhealthy in that outfit. Why do I look like a clown? Guys love girls that are funny. And clowns are hilarious. What? Where have you been unless Like, clowns are not synonymous with funny anymore. If anything, Pennywise has ruined that. I'm not real enough for you. Oh shit. So what better way to show that you're show that you're funny? Oh, I don't know. Being myself. Oh honey, being yourself is overrated. Uh I feel so sorry. What is this? Halloween? It's only like three months away. This shows that you can be whoever you want. I don't see myself wanting to be a skeleton. So which outfit will it be? None of them. Look, I appreciate you two trying to help, but I think I got this. Uh, are you sure? Positive. Are you very sure? Yep. Get out of my room. Well, that was a bust. You think? Now what? 
My son! We can ask him about his plans and wreck them. There's no time to waste! Oh my god. Mom and Dion's mom in my room? Together? Something's not right here. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, we know. But we thought we'd come together for our kids. I guess there's a first time for everything. So, tell us. Where are you taking Dion? Well, I thought about doing the usual. Dinner and a movie. That's good! Have you made a reservation yet? I have. And you'll never guess where I'm taking her. Where? The best to the best restaurant in town. She loves that place. Does she really? That's perfect! You guys actually just helped me out a lot. I wasn't so sure she liked fancy places. Who knows? Who knew you two would work great as a team? Well, I'll be off now. I still have to get our flowers. <laughs> I want them ruined in this date to fail. Wait, DeAndre. Yes? She loves peonies. Thank you so much. It's about to be she allergic to that. Because if she is, Janelope, I'm going to punch you right in your face. She doesn't like peonies, does she? She's allergic. Nigga! Yo, I'm about to punch her in her face. I'm going to punch her in her face. I'm going to take her graduation robe and suffocate her with it. Now what? We go and spy on them. And make the date the worst while we're there. Exactly. Oh my god. I'm going to beat both of them. I'm going to beat you, especially Janelope. Why the heck would you even do that? Like, are you that desperate not to- Oh my god. Are you serious? Bring all of your red clothes here. I have an idea. You got it. She's gonna burn them. Finally. You did say all of them. So what's your idea? If we're gonna wear disguises, we need to wear something that we'd never be caught dead in. You don't mean enemy team colors. I'm going to soak in tomato soup after this. Who's first? You go first. I knew you were going to say that. I can't believe I'm going to see her in red. Try out those three. Fine, seeing as I don't have much of a choice. Each alpha represents a character you could play. Why are we doing characters? It's more believable. French art critique, mother to be, snobby actress. Let's see. This suits your personality. What? It's a compliment. Nah. I'm not feeling. Let's try mother to be. Why am I pregnant? You need to talk to your husband about that. Well, the kids certainly won't recognize you like that. You're not actually pregnant, so... You have a point. Yes. Now it's your turn. I already made outfits for you. Yippee. Let's see. Let's see. Let's start from the bottom. Three. How am I supposed to get into the restaurant like this? You can just sit in the bush and look through the window. It's camouflage after all. God, no. Two. What on earth am I? What are you? I just had some fun. I just wanted to use the bow tie. No. I can't believe I'll be seeing you in green. What is with you and this winter coat? It's stylish, okay? God, please. The most normal one. Wait, who are you going to play then? I'll think of something on the spot. But for now, let's crash this date! Oh. A 
complete, utter disaster. First blood. Sir! Bruh! Can I help you? <laughs> Yo! That was harassment! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.